Okay, um, so I wrapped up the uh, the front of the truck there with the uh, Arctic top <coughs> or tarp, but uh, the uh, headlight covers are going to be kind of an issue uh, because it's been sitting so long, and they had some protective uh, looks like almost like a wax paper that was glued or semi glued to the plexiglass that that uh, the headlights come through. Um, I'm going to have to go ahead and uh, basically try to figure out how to get it off. So I did. Uh, I took off one of the um, the sides of where the headlight is. I'll show you. So there it is, and I did a little test spot right there, uh, so that um, it wasn't in the main main area. And I used uh, goof off. I don't know if you've ever used goof off before. But uh, it's uh, it's pretty good stuff, and it gets rid of all the glue and stuff. So, but I wanted to test it on an area that if it damaged the plastic and made it fog or whatever, that uh, it was out of the uh, out of sight. So I did a little test spot right here, try to get the paper off. It looks like it did a pretty good job. It didn't it didn't uh, fog up the the plastic. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, continue and see if I can get this stuff off. Like I said, this stuff is practically glued, complete, and the paper, when you try to take it off, it just comes off in little tiny pieces because it's, it's got no integrity anymore. It's 80 years old or 65 years old or whatever it is. Anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and, and uh, start to try that and see how it looks. Okay, uh, making some progress already, which is great. So it seems like the hot ticket here is to uh, go ahead and just pick an area to soak, which I've done. I took the goof off and just kind of letting it soak here. And then use, um, get a, if you have one, use a plastic spatula to go ahead and help you uh, remove it. I got two, two kinds. I got a smaller one for maybe the tighter corners and then a bigger one for uh, whatever. Anyway, so that way you're using plastic so you won't scratch the, the, uh, the plastic or plexiglass here. So, but it seems like it's, uh, it's doing its job. Like I said, just gotta let it sit for about, you know, three or four minutes. Seems to lift it up pretty quick. And uh, it's doing its thing. So uh, we'll just keep uh, hammering away and see how long that takes. Okay, well, there it is. For all it's not beauty. I don't know, you can probably see in the, uh, in the video that even with my best efforts, I still scratched it, trying to get stuff off. In the end, I, I uh, had to use a, a safety razor blade to get some of that stuff off because even with the goof off, it wouldn't come off. So I'm just gonna have to deal with it, I guess. But uh, you know, when it's on there, you know, you probably won't really notice it too much. But I'm kind of disappointed that I couldn't. Uh, couldn't save it without getting some scratches done on it. But anyway, if I have to, I can get a new one made. There's a place out here called Tap Plastics. They do acrylic stuff like this. And I could just give them one of these and they could make me two of them. Uh, brand new if I needed to. So, just like that. But I'll go with this for now. And if, if it bothers me later, I'll just have some new ones made up. But uh, that's only one. It took me about two hours to do one. I've got a... I've got more to do. <laughs> All right.